have you packed all your things? Make sure you brought the onigiri and rice cakes your mother prepared. Don't worry. I have them all. They're going to last me days. Take care of yourselves while I'm out. And make sure you remind Mom to take her medicine on time. If running the store gets a bit too much, take some time off and wait for me to return. Oh, Yoimiya, Mia. Your mother and I got so worried when we heard that you were going so far abroad. We've never left the country. So we don't know how outlanders might view us Inazumans, or if they'd even be willing to speak to us. Oh, relax. Outlanders are friendly and warm. Look at Toma from the Yashiro Commission. He's originally from Mondstadt, but everyone thinks he's a top tier guy. A mop tier? What mop? Oh! Do you mean the broken one at home? I just fixed it today, actually. No! I said top, not mop! <sighs> you know, Toma even sent us some wine from his homeland not too long ago. <sighs> we haven't heard this kind of friendly banter in a while, huh? Oh! Hey, you two! It's been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm excited because I'm going on a trip soon. Many things have changed. Lots of outlanders have come to Inazuma, and lots of Inazumans have gone out as well. You two have been adventuring all over to that, so you might not be able to understand. But for us, this is a long-awaited chance to go out and fulfill our dreams. That's right, the Sakoku Decree is gone. Ah, oh, I remember you two. You're Yoimiya's friends, yes? Word of your incredible accomplishments has spread throughout Inazuma. My daughter's a big fan of yours. She said she'd love to be like you two. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Who's never dreamed of becoming a hero? Aw, thanks. But I'm just your average artisan. The quiet life suits me better. But if an opportunity presents itself, why not try to show your stuff, right? All right. Did you two come over today to order some fireworks? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I got carried away. Well, I am gone. Dad's in charge of making fireworks. You've seen how skilled he is, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, no. We aren't here to do business or anything. We just happen to be passing by. Oh, so we're all here with time to spare? What a treat! In that case, let's chat some more. I'm not in a rush anyway. Sure. So, where are you planning to go? No clue. Huh? <laughs> I say that, but I do have a travel goal. To see Tibet's grandest meteor shower. But I don't know when or where it'll happen. So, I figured I can search while I travel. That's it? No details? Nothing? Uh, not right now. Since this meteor shower was originally something like a family legend. A long time ago, the Naganaharas were inspired to create new fireworks after watching such a meteor shower. Dad says that inspiration is a combination of what you see and what you know. Different people can see the same thing, but have different thoughts. Inazuma today is completely different from how it was in the past. If I can see this meteor shower, I'm sure I'll be able to come up with a new kind of firework. I know, right? Of course, my main reason is that I won't go and look outside Inazuma. <laughs> No need to be shy about it. You gotta play hard when you get the chance. You know, you're right, Paimon. Is it just me, or have you gotten wiser since we first met? <laughs> Paimon loves being friends with you since you say such nice things. Sumeru, so I've heard of it. It has a ton of trees, a super impressive school, and a massive desert. Yep, and everyone there is really... 
really smart, so Paimon's sure you'll get some answers from them about the meteor shower. Really? But won't research people make fun of me or something if I ask them about a legend? We won't know if something's real or not unless we ask. Don't worry, we got solid connections in there. Well, she does anyway. Wouldn't I be taking up your time, though? I doubt this is in your schedule. Exactly! Relax, Yarnia. You've helped us plenty of times before. <laughs> All right. Then I accept your offer. Let's have some fun at Sumeru. Dad! You can have more peace of mind now that I'm traveling with them, right? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yes. Your mother and I will be much more at ease. Remember, you two also need to take care of yourselves. I'll be back soon. Okay, let's head to Rito and catch a boat there. So, this is Sumeru? That tree's huge! Is the port built on top of it? And this place is amazing! It's way bigger than Rito's port. There are also a lot more stores here. Oh, there's more cool stuff for you to see. Don't you worry! This place is awesome! I had heard people describe it, but nothing beats seeing a place for yourself. If I hadn't seen the port with my own eyes, I could never have imagined such a place. So, the school you were talking about, the Academia, is it here? Nope, we have to head north from here and follow the river to reach Sumeru City. Sumeru City, huh? I guess it's even more impressive than here? Even bigger? Oh, I wonder if it's as grand as Sanganomiya Shrine. Whatever the case, why don't we go to Sumeru City? Oh, I'm so excited that I don't even know what I should be doing anymore. The important thing about going on a trip is to enjoy yourself. You don't have to think so hard. I'm just worried that if we don't get down to business soon, we'll take up too much of our time. <laughs> but if you insist, then let's look around. Welcome to Akara Crafts. Feel free to have a look around. Wow, what are these? They're so cute! This is our current bestseller, the Aranara Carving. 
Their designs are based on the fairy tales that circulate amongst children, so they're very popular with them. Miss, are you from Inazuma? Oh, this would be a great gift for you to bring back home. Oh, I know about Arunara. You two told me about them on the ship. I didn't think they'd be so cute. No wonder the kids like them. Oh, they're all so pretty. Let me take a better look. I knew Yoimiya would like this kind of thing. But even she might have a hard time seeing a real Arunara. Yeah, sorry, Yoimiya, but we need to keep our promise to the Aranara. That's that said, Paimon doesn't think Yoimiya would mind too much. Her world's already chock full of imaginary creatures. I think I'll get this one. Ooh, that one. And the other two that you showed me earlier. Uh, you're buying that many? Yep, I'm going to give them out to Saika and the others. They're going to love them. Oh, and these carvings can also be used as prizes and matches against the Arataki gang. They also look great lined up by the window. Think about it. You wake up, and the first thing you see are these adorable critters. When they brighten up your entire day. <laughs> okay, thanks. In that case, you take your pick too. For some reason, Paimon thinks it kind of looks like you, Yoimiya. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. Hello, Nara Paimon. My name is Aramiya. Is that how they talk? Hope I remember correctly. <laughs> that was really good. Wow, great memory. We only talked about Aranara that one time on the boat. That's because they're so interesting. I'm pretty good at remembering those kinds of things. Of course. Thank you for your patronage. You all are an entertaining bunch. I hope you enjoy your time here in Sumeru. <sighs> That's about it for Fort Ormos. Next up is Sumeru City. All, of my all right. Wow, this market is even busier than the one in Port Ormos. This is Treasure Street. Up from here is the Academia. Oh, and in that tree trunk is the Grand Bazaar. They're both pretty special places. I just saw a group of people come down, and they were all wearing the same outfit. Is that the Academia's uniform? That's right. They also wear hats with different designs, depending on which darshan they're in. For example, we'll be looking for someone from Watalahis. They know a lot about stars and stuff. Does this mean that you need uniforms like those to get in and out of the Academia? Uh, Paimon doesn't think so. Um, won't we stick out if we go in like this? So even you get shy, huh? No, no, that's not what I meant. <sighs> Let's pretend you're an academia student, hard at work. Then in comes a bunch of outlanders in strange clothes who gawk and run around everywhere. Oh, Paimon kinda gets what you mean. I don't think we have to be too self-conscious, but it's still something to keep in mind. Why don't we look around here first? I've been wanting to see the Zubair Theater anyway. As for the Academia, 
Let's go once I get myself a set of Sumeru-style clothes. Alright, but Paimon thinks you're overthinking it. Nilo might have some good recommendations. <laughs> Sounds good! If we can watch a performance of hers while we're at it, that'd be even better. Alright, I'll be looking around here. I'm leaving the meteor shower inquiry to you two. Thanks a lot! No problem! We'll be right back! from Wakalahis, but now that Paimon thinks about it, no one really fits the bill. Paimon thinks Alhatham might know something, but Paimon doesn't want to talk to him. Oh, why don't we just ask around? Maybe we'll run into someone from Wakalahis. Looks like you two are in the pickle. Why not consult someone who always tells you everything she knows? <gasps> Nihira! <sighs> Why are you here? I'm here to meet with some researchers, but when I saw you two looking so troubled, I decided to follow. Looks like I showed up just in time. Okay, we might as well tell you. We have a friend who's come to Sumeru. Hmm, I see. Uh, your face says that it's gonna be a long time before the next meteor shower. Um, my answer is going to be even more of a disappointment. You may have heard that the stars are related to people's fates. Yeah, lots of times! If the stars dictate destiny, then do you think that destiny is something that is unchanging and always follows predicted outcomes? Mm, you have a point. According to current Retalahist research, a meteor shower is a celestial phenomenon that occurs due to the interference between many intricate fates. Their appearance is highly random, some have tried coming up with ways to predict their occurrence, but the results are less than reliable. This is a far cry from folk tales that claim meteor showers come at certain times, and bless all who witness them. So, you mean we won't be able to see one? <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you two. If we tell this to Yoimiya, she'll be so disappointed! What now? There has to be something we can do! Are you two okay? It seems the news hit harder than I expected. Paimon just thinks this isn't fair to Yoimiya. I get it. 
From how you described her, I can see that she is a kind and caring soul. So, why don't we take a page out of her book and protect her dreams with a well-intentioned lie? Oh? How do we do that? It'll be a story about a meteor shower. You'll accompany her on a brief journey, do a bit of work here and there, and then receive the meteor shower as a reward. Oh, well, I can't summon a real meteor shower. But if it's in a dream, I can help out. Oh, that would be great, Nahida! Compared to what you've done for me, this is nothing. Use the meteor shower as a pretext to take you and me out all around Sumeru. Then, when you're ready, blow this. I'll tell the Aranara in advance. Once they hear the whole story, I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Huh. Then the dream will probably be like the one we had in the Avidia Forest, when we first met Hapasia. That was a real shocker. It was hard to tell that we were even in a dream. Once the meteor shower ends and you all awaken from the dream, she'll probably realize what had happened. If you tell her the truth at that point, she should be a lot less disappointed. Mm-hmm. Paimon thinks this is the best way to simulate the meteor shower. Thanks, Nahida! <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Still, you two should get this story straight before you join up with your friend. If not, she's gonna see right through everything. True. Let's discuss it on the way! So what we need to do is to make you and Mia believe that the meteor shower is really happening and be super convincing at how we sell it. Hmm... If Paimon wanted to go see a meteor shower, the things Paimon would focus on the most would be... Yes, exactly! We'll say we're trying to figure these two things out, but we'll actually be bringing Yoimiya around to see the sights and enjoy local food! Oh, well, easier said than done. We can't be too strict with our pretext, but we can't be sloppy with it either, or she'll see through it. Oh, it'd be best if we could take a unique approach to making it fantastical, just like a real fairy tale. Hmm... This is gonna be hard. Oh, that's right! Um, don't people also talk about wishing on a shooting star? If we used wishes as the center of our story... Whoa, that sounds great! Alright then, we need a specific wishing spot or else the sky would be full of meteor showers. And then, while we're supposedly finding or making this device, we'll go around and have fun and eat good food! <laughs> This is shaping up to be the perfect plot! After all, the device can be anything, and the location can be wherever! As long as we get Yoimiya to enter the dream at night, things will be fine! There's nothing wrong with that! You should know Paimon pretty well by now! Oh, alright, alright, let's go! Yoimiya's probably sick of waiting for us.
so much. If it weren't for your help, I would have gotten lost already. It's no problem. I'll be heading home then. Just a minute, wait. This is for you. This is an R&R &R carving I bought in Port Ormos. I heard it's very popular with kids, so here, have one. It's all right, I didn't do much really. It's fine, take it. Come on, just look at its big happy smile. You can display it at home or hang it on your wheelchair. It'll cheer you up. That might sound silly to you. Like, why do you have to be happy just because it is? But that's the magic of a smile. If you don't believe me, try it. Look at it a few times every day and you'll understand. Actually, I feel like I already do. You love talking and you love smiling too. I just don't understand why you're so positive. I've never met anyone like you before. Sorry, I'm not very good with words, but since you say so, I'll accept your gift. Want me to take you home? It's okay. I can head back myself. Oh, great timing, you two. Who was that kid? Oh, her? Her name is Abine. I saw that she was looking quite forlorn, so I wanted to make sure she wasn't feeling left out or alone. She was pretty shy at first, but I explained that I just arrived in Sumeru and had uh, gotten lost, so I needed someone to help guide me. She agreed and we made our way back here. There were so many paths here, and they're all twisty, turny, and up and down. It's hard navigating through them all. No, she didn't want to talk about that, and I didn't ask. I get the feeling that'll bring up some unhappy memories. But if I had to guess, it's probably because she hasn't been able to explore the city for quite some time. All she said was that she's sick and doesn't know when she'll get better. Whenever we passed by busy crowds, she kept turning her head and taking in all the things around her. At first, I thought she was afraid that someone might bump into us. But when I caught a glimpse in her eyes, I only saw yearning and a deep sense of loss. It's hard not to be down when something like that happens to you. At first, she didn't really want to say anything to me at all. She just gave me yes and no answers. But what I really saw was just another child and asked all the same things everyone else did about rugs, spices, cooking, and the differences between here and home. Eventually, I think I earned her trust. <laughs> there were many things that she liked in the city, after all. I say that, but honestly, you two probably caught the majority of what she said. Eh, gotta start somewhere. Oh, by the way, did you guys learn anything about the meteor shower? You bet we did! Big time! You're in luck, Yoimiya! You'll be able to see the meteor shower from Sumeru! Really? <laughs> That's great! If I had gone looking for it myself, I'm sure I would have missed it. Huh? What do you mean? They respond to wishes? Huh, I've never heard that one before. So, it's not that you wish upon shooting stars, but that wishes summon them? <laughs> In that case, I was born ready, don't you worry! Are you talking about how you want to use the meteor shower as inspiration for fireworks? That's why I'm here, but I wouldn't call that my wish. I don't think that alone will call the stars down for us, right? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, she's adding her own spin onto this. If that's the case, then we'll have to practice wishing a little. Can you two come with me? Let me put my thoughts together and tell me if you understand. As for what my wish is... <laughs> it's a secret for now. Yeah, and we'll take the opportunity to show you some views you've definitely never seen before. 
more places to see? All right, let's go.